Hey everyone, welcome to your Wednesday watch. Um, firstly, apologies. Um, last week there was no Wednesday watch, but you might have seen from my Instagram that I was going in for an operation. Um, nothing major, people. Basically, um, I've got teeth like an old you, and they're falling out. So they were gonna knock me out and and ease one out a little bit because it's a bit shit and and it's just stuck in there so anyway that was that um but it just meant that I'd moved work around different things and I was going to struggle to get it done so I had a week off and that was that and guess what happened they fucking cancelled my operation yes something to do with no beds what the fuck anywho back to the nails because I have done a Wednesday watch this week and it's on a real person hallelujah my lovely Kay I don't know if you can remember she went off to have a baby and fucking ditch me for her new child oh how dare she um but eight months in she's realized that they're just vile and nails are life so yay 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 that's great for us so it's great because Kay does push me and I love that she's always looking for new things that we can try and or she'll just let me do what I want and that's what you client um so yeah that's that welcome back Kay. back to these nails so they're pretty simple nice nude nails now we're sculpting a classic almond so that is straight lower arches to the tip we're going to come out softly from the cuticle to apex gentle rise and fall um but first we've got it we've got to create that free edge so we're stretching it down stretchy stretch 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 until I'm happy making sure that I've always got that straight lower arch and then we'll come in with the back making the apex and cuticle nice and flush. Now you've got to make sure that when you're putting your apex in place you've got to make sure that you don't keep wiping it off because I watch so many people they are placing apex they keep wiping the bead, wiping the paper towel, wiping the bead, wiping the paper towel. No. Place it. Place it where you want an apex. Then tuck 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 tip of the brush nice and flush i'll go on into that in a minute but leave that product there that's where you want your apex so don't wipe it just feather it forward and paint it down into what you've already created now i refer to the tip of my brush in a minute as not like fingers okay go with me with it i have very strange ways of um, explaining things but i think my weird ways of explaining things sometimes will get stuck in your head so the tip of the brush imagine them as your fingers okay so when you're making your bed or making the bed any bed whatever when you're doing anything now when you're tucking the bed sheets or the duvet or anything in you don't tuck it in with the palm of your hand do you, you don't just bash bash and i'm literally motioning this right now you don't just tap 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 with the palm of your hands that is not going to tuck when you come to tuck your duvet in you use your fingers to tuck the duvet in tuck the sheets in you can't tuck it in with the flat of your hand that being you can't use the flat of the brush to make it flush you've got to use the tip of the brush to make it nice and flush so the tip of the brush is your fingers so when we come in to do this one remember we're leaving the product where we want an apex imagine the tip of the brush oh the fingers you ready place it leave it ready tuck them bed sheets in gently bringing down the side walls and leaving the apex where you need it and then painting forward we'll go for it again but imagine them as fingers <laughs> maybe don't it might be a little bit strange but go with it it's going to be fine now we are pinching these nails as well we want to make sure that they are as wide as a natural nail it's created with the form by tailoring the form so the form is as wide as the natural nail but also with the pinching tool so usually when i've sculpted my free edge the next the previous nail is then ready and again it depends on your client um, and different conditions but that generally works for me but you need to test it make sure it's not collapsing um, you might feel the heat from the polymerization, but yeah, you will do it. Now, sculpting this free edge here, I make sure, you can see that I'm tucking it up into both of those stress points. This is really important. Before you start to do any sort of shape or length or anything, you need to make sure that the stress points are done. I'll then come and tailor and shape, making sure I've got lovely straight lower arches. But it's following the form. The form is closed so it's following the form. You're ready for the bed sheets. Ready? Let's put it the apex down. 
apex is there. Fingers tuck the bed sheets in. I'll twist my brush to the side. Side wall's gone, nice and neat. I've got that product on the top. Leave it and paint front to the from the front down. You can see by the shine of the light how the product's left there. It raises up gently to an apex and falls down to the free edge. I'm now ready to move my pinching tool. And there we have it. We're done. Obviously, I haven't left the thumb in because it's a fucking thumb. And we're done. Now, I filed off of camera because it's awkward. So you can see they're lovely and neat. Nice almond. And then we're going in with a non-white top coat from Glitterbells. So we're going to cover the whole of these with this finish with the non-white top coat and then they will go in the lamp and then we will do lots of artwork with some pastel pigments. We are getting artsy fartsy, getting down with the cool kids this week. Um, I know I've used the pastel pigments a bit in previous videos but they're essential for now. They're so versatile. I love them. Um, hopefully you all love them as well. Um, but yeah. It's nice, dead easy. If I can do stuff like this, you guys can. Because I am the least artsy person there is. Well, I can do like acrylic artsy stuff, but give me a paintbrush or anything and I'm fucked. So yeah, jobs are good. And so they will now go into the lamp and I'm going to pop them in for 60. And then we'll come in with indigo, um, sugar it. It's in white it's fab. I do love it. I have another different brands, but this one I get on with really well for doing it. So it's from Indigo. And I'm using the detailer brush from Glitterbells. And I really can't explain what I'm doing. I'm just kind of mashing up, making a mess with white. Um, using my detailer brush as well to do some dots and dots and dots and dots, dots and dots and blobs and splodges and different things. Um, until I'm happy and then they will go back in the lamp but only for 10 seconds because I want to leave a really good inhibition layer sticky so that I can dab these pastel pigments in um, right if I sound a little bit quiet um, it's because my children are in bed the husband is out it's fucking brilliant and I don't want to ruin it I don't want to wake them up sometimes Teddy will come down and you're really noisy I can hear your telly so yeah, I'm doing all that within my power to not fuck up my evening alone. So I am whispering a little bit. So there's that. Another thing I need to add. Can you remember um, a couple of, probably a couple of months ago when my client went on holiday and she needed engagement nails because she thought she was going to get engaged on the beach on holiday. She thought he might propose to her and he didn't fucking propose to her, did he? He didn't do it. He didn't do it. The nails were wasted. Well, I've been keeping a little secret. And I can tell you all now, now, this little lovely have, they've been together a very long time and we're going through treatment because they were struggling to have a baby. Um, you know where this is going, don't you? It's fucking great. Anywho, she did not get that diamond ring. No, 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 no. But whilst on holiday, she did get knocked up. Well, actually, she was already knocked up, but they found out on holiday. So yeah, no diamonds, but she does have a bum in the oven. How fucking fantastic. I'm so happy. Yay us. I feel like we've all gone on this little journey. So I felt it was only right to fill you in. I couldn't at the time. You were all like, oh, did she get engaged? No, she didn't get engaged. Well, um, but yeah, that did happen. So yay, 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 yay. Back to the nails. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing really. I'm just splodging some shit at it. I'm just really just dabbing some white on it. Making a mess. And then we'll make an even bigger mess when we come to the pastel pigments. Um, pop them in 10 seconds, literally 10 seconds. And then we're going to get messy. Now, these really do go a long way. Yeah, you really don't need much. A teeny tiny bit, dab it in. Um, I'm just, I am just literally just dabbing them on. I really do like these. They look crazy. And I have added a picture at the end of how messy it looks. Um, and I really like that. Um, because it's completely different to the finished result. So, yay, I'm literally just dabbing in, and then I'm going to get even artsier again. Again, from Indigo, I'm using a black um, paint from them, and I am going to do, well, I don't know really what it is, just some fine lines, some squiggles, some stuff. And again, they'll go into the lamp and finished with a top coat. Um, 
it is a shiny non-wipe. I did want to go matte, but Kay's not a fan. And I want to keep her sweet at the moment. I want her to come back to me. Um, so we went for the glossy one. And it works. It does look lovely. Um, also, I just want to point out that, yeah, yeah, it looks like I am doing Kay's nails with my feet. Because I've got these fucking stumpy fingers. Um, took my nails off, didn't I? Because I was having the operation. Didn't fucking happen. Um... And I haven't put them back on because I'm getting to that time. It's April. You know what happens with me. I'm going to be elbow deep in sheep's vaginas because lambing time is here. Well, it's in another week's time when the kids are off with half term. So, you know, I've got some extra hands and they've got little hands as well. I'll send them into the vag. Teddy would be great with it. Um, so, yeah. It's all going to kick off very soon. Lots of lambs coming our way. Um, so, yeah, so I've got these little feet, little toe fingers, little nubbins. Um, they make me feel a little bit sick, and I'm sure they do you. Um, but, yeah, just wanted to raise that before someone liked to leave me a comment saying, Ew, what's going on with your hands? That's what's going on with my hands, because, yeah, I'm also a farmer. <laughs> So yeah. Anywho, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take my whispery tones off to the fridge, and uh, see what I can eat. Um. Hopefully, you have loved this video, and if you did enjoy it and you don't already, please would you subscribe? I've got to do the YouTubey thing. You know, please like, subscribe, and comment. It would mean the world to me, and it really does. Um, it really does mean the world to me. Um, and I will be back again next week. Um, I might have to get the kids involved because, like I say, it's half term. Maybe we'll get the lambs involved as well. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go from here. It's going to be two weeks of craziness. Lambs and kids and, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to go. Enjoy the rest of the video. There's not much left. But I'll see you all again next week. Love and hugs. Bye.